Uh, we've already learned that a when an electrical current is running through a wire, it produces a magnetic field, right? So if you have a wire and there's an electrical current running through it, then we're going to sort of get this uh, magnetic field around the outside of that wire, sort of perpendicular um, to the current and to the wire, okay? So it makes sense that if we think that since a current induces a magnetic field, okay, the question that we ask ourselves is, well, then can a magnetic field make a current or cause a current, okay? And this uh, is what um, a guy named Faraday questioned, and he designed an experiment. So his experiment started with um, a battery, okay? And attached to that battery <clears throat> was a wire that then we had over here, we had a circular like metal rod, right? So here is this wire and it's coming, okay? And there's a switch in the wire, okay? and it's coiled around this metal and attached back to the battery, okay? And then on the other side, we've got another wire coil, and this is attached to a, a galvanometer, which is another instrument that measures uh, uh, current, right? And so it's got a little, like, Thing that will go back and forth based on current. So this was a galvanometer, okay, and it tells us current, okay? So what he thought was if I were to, you know, close the circuit, essentially what's going to happen is there's going to be, a, we create a solenoid here, right? So you've got a, a coil of wires, so you're going to create a big magnetic field that's going to flow through this, and by having a magnetic field flowing through a coil of wire, it should make a current. So we have the current here, which makes the magnetic field here, which then we would hope would make a current there, okay? So when he tried this experiment, it didn't work, okay? So what his results were was no current here, okay? However, something that he noticed was that when he opened and closed the switch, so as he opened and closed, the switch, the galvanometer would jump, okay? So as you close the switch, it'll go whoop, and then you'd open the switch, and then you close the switch. But once it was, you know, closed or opened, it would just sit there on zero, okay? So what his conclusion was was that, or his new hypothesis was that, okay, well maybe what happens is that uh, a current is induced when a magnetic field is changing. So his new hypothesis was, does a changing magnetic field create a current? Okay, so now he tested that hypothesis and he just set up a very, very simple experiment. So he took his galvanometer Right? Oh, let me just get a whole new fresh piece of paper here. So he took his galvanometer, okay, and he, you know, it's got a little thing here, and it's, he took a coil of wire like this, and then he took a magnet, and, you know, I'm really bad at drawing, so um, let's just say the magnet's here, north and south, and he, he put it up through the center of the loop. Okay, which doesn't really look like it. The loop, imagine the loop's coming out like this and that the magnet is going up and down. So as he moved it up through, okay, so now this loop is experiencing a changing magnetic field because the magnet is being moved into it. So what happened is he saw that as he did that, it would, it had a positive current flowing through as he was moving the magnet, okay? Then as he pulled the magnet out, so same scenario here, okay, and you've got your loop and you've got the magnet, okay, as he pulled the magnet out, now the magnetic field is decreasing.
increasing, right? And so he saw a current, but it was a negative current, so a current in the opposite direction, okay? And then when he had the galvanometer and he just held the magnet in a fixed position, so no movement, okay, gave him no current, okay? So based on his original experiment, he developed a new experiment and he was able to show that yes, by changing the a magnetic field, we induced a current. He also noticed that, well, if we're increasing the magnetic field that it experiences, the current goes one way. If we're decreasing it, the current goes the other way. In the next video, I'll talk about math, um, how we calculate this, and uh, also how we can you know, predict the direction that a current would go.